Now we're going to be doing some subtraction by using materials and we're going to be using the same tasty materials that I used to do the addition lesson video. Now when we're doing subtraction we need to remember that the word subtract means to take away which means that our answer is always going to be smaller than the numbers that we start with. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind when we are doing subtraction. So what we need to look at first is what the subtraction symbol looks like. So this is what our subtraction equations would look like, especially it'll look even more like one when there are numbers in there. The subtraction or minus symbol is this little line here. So when you see this, we know that it means to subtract, minus, or take away. They all mean the same thing. And the equals symbol is the same as before, is what is it equal to or what is our answer? So let's have a go at a word problem to see if we can use our subtraction skills. Okay, so here is our word problem. It's coming up on the screen here. It's telling us, I have six M&Ms all together, and then I eat two of them. How many M&Ms do I have left over? So let's use our materials to help us figure that out. And does that mean I get to eat some? I hope so. So we've got six M&Ms all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the word problem says, I have six all together and then I eat two of them. So let's do that. One. Two. Okay, now that I've eaten two of them, that shows us how many we have left over. So I had six all together, I ate two of them, let's count how many are left over. One, two, three, four. I have four M&Ms left over. Let's see what that looks like if I write it down on the equation. So I had six M&Ms all together and I took away or I ate two of them and how many were left over? Four. So that's what our subtraction word problem looks like as a number equation. Let's have a look at a few more. Okay, so here is our next equation. I have four M&Ms all together and I take away or minus or eat one of them. How many M&Ms do I have left over? So let's get our M&Ms to help us. So four M&Ms, one, two, three, four, minus one, I can do that. All right, how many are left over? One, two, three. Let's double check. One, two, three. Three M&Ms left over. Let's write that down. Perfect. Okay, our next one is five minus two. So five M&Ms all together, and I take away two of them. And how many will be left over? So let's get out five M&Ms. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and because I don't have to eat them every time, I can just take two away. I'm gonna take these two away, put them back in the bowl. So I had five all together and I took away two of them. How many are left over? Let's count. One, two, three. I have three M&Ms left over. Let's write that down. Great. Okay, our next equation, we have six minus two. And what does it equal? So I've already got out six M&Ms in front of me and I'm gonna take away how many? Two, correct. So six M&Ms, one, two, three, four, five, six. Take away two. I'm going to take these two away. Put them back in the bowl. How many are left over? Let's count. One, two, three, four. I have four M&Ms left over. Let's write it down. It's a funny looking four. Okie dokie, this is the last one we're going to do all together and then you'll be able to practice some on your own. So we have seven minus four equals. So I'm gonna start with seven M&Ms, which I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need to take away four M&Ms. So let's count four. One, two, three, 
four, and I'm gonna take those four away. All right, what does it equal? Which means how many are left over? Let's count. One, two, three. I have three M&Ms left over, so let's write that down. Excellent. Okay, so that's all that we're gonna do together. Now it's your turn to look at the next slide and see if you can have a go at those equations on your own and get someone at home to help mark your answers. I hope you have a wonderful time with that and it'd be even more fun if you've got M&Ms as well. The next video that I'm gonna do is division using materials, so I'll see you there.